bless the Lord, early birds. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Just got off the line with the early birds on our midweek call. Uh, awesome experience in the Lord. Just be uh, synoptic at this moment. Just give a synopsis of uh, how the Lord blessed us uh, and was blessing you as you are early pursuer of the Word of God. We're in Genesis chapter 39 and 40 and in uh, Matthew 21. Uh, honestly, didn't make it to 21, uh, Matthew 21, because there was so much in just a couple of verses at the end of chapter 39 uh, that really spoke to the matter in which uh, Joseph experienced God's faithful love. In spite of being sold into slavery and in spite of being mistreated by his brothers, it became an occasion and a moment where God could express to Joseph and show Joseph his faithful love verse 21 of Genesis 39 and so I just kind of again keep it short and simple Uh, chapter 31 uh, chapter 39 verse 21 of Genesis uh, exemplifies the meaning of or the reality that even in our low circumstances God's faithful love endures and faithfulness has to do with that consistency, that committed presence, that undaunted presence of how God continues to keep us, how God continues to be with us and support us, right or wrong. I mean, we think that God is only with us when we're right. <laughs> but where will we be if God didn't help right the wrong going ship in our lives, the right, the wrong going direction, the wrong going thoughts and words? And so this morning, I just want to encourage you to know that like Joseph, where you are has nothing to do with who you are. You are who you are, no matter what your condition might be in. It's like the Apostle Paul, as the Holy Ghost is reminding me right now, who says in Philippians 4, 12 and 13, I've learned how to have much and how to have little, little to be to abound and to be a base. And that's why in verse 13, he can declare, I can can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Only someone who has been exposed to the enduring love of the Lord at the low places, in the valleys, as Dr. Spencer would say, do we experience that phenomenon and that gives us peace that passes all understanding. When you know God's enduring and faithful love, you don't panic when the bottom falls out. You can be like Job. It says in Job 13, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I mean, you are who you are. Stripped, homeless, hungry, but you're still anointed. That does not change that. And don't let your condition condition your thoughts and your mouth to speak against who God has made you to be. Be who God has made you to be. I've come up right now and I rebuke every a demonic assignment that would try to steal from you the certainty of God's faithful love. And I uh, ask the Lord to open your eyes that you might see that God has anointed you and that you are God's own child, that you'll day, yea, though you walk through the valley in the shadow of death, you need not fear any evil, for the Lord is with you. His rod and staff comfort you, prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies, that your cup runs over. Surely you would know that goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you'll dwell in the house of the Lord. In Joseph experience, Joseph's experience, he has endured much hardship. Though his name means increase, oftentimes increase is also in the presence of decrease. Increase in spite of decrease. Uh, If I had time, I could really get into that. But I simply want to encourage you to know that God is setting you up for the place where God wants you to be. But that he and that uh, God's faithful love endures no matter what your state might be. He's being set up for a Manasseh and an Ephraim blessing of God helping him to forget not only the the difficult place, but the difficult people in his life to not hold that grudge or that uh, anger against them, 
and that God also allows him to prosper in the place of hurt and pain in the name of Jesus. Well, I want to just speak those blessings over your life today, early birds, and pray God's anointing on you. Remember, sisters and brothers, the early bird gets the word, and I pray that you get this word out of Genesis 39 and 40, and uh, let the Lord continue to stir up the gifts within you. I love you. God bless you. Peace.